and coming on to the show. I understand now that we have Governor Opus Adima back with us. Thank you and thanks for your patience for staying with us. So I was asking before we had uh, that cut in uh, our conversation, I said the Monday attack or the assault that we saw and again on Tuesday, uh, what have you found out or what is the latest? Because you also understand that a number of some of the inmates have been rearrested. What more can you tell us? Well, so, um, the, this network, the network has not been so uh, good, but I'll try my best. What, what happened in Imo State last Monday is unbelievable. A group of hoodlums, of course sponsored by some known politicians in Imo State, decided to destroy public infrastructure and government facilities and attacked the correctional center facilities and also attacked the police state headquarters, put so many vehicles ablaze, broke the correctional facilities open, and the inmates escaped. However, as at this afternoon, over 80 of these inmates have returned back to the facility why police and the security agencies are still uh, fishing, identifying some and bringing them back to the facility. But what is important here for take home is for Nigerians to know of the plot by a group of aggrieved politicians to destabilize the government of APC. I have done some thorough investigation and I have a credible lead as to those who are sponsoring these activities of these hoodlums. I don't want to preempt the other investigations by security agencies, but I can tell you we are working hard to ensure that the sponsors of this dastardly act must be brought to book. You have confirmed to us tonight that what we have seen in Emo said in the past few days is political in nature. Is it possible that you can give us more into who these people are and perhaps maybe give us one or two of their names? Because I don't want to preempt the ongoing investigation, but we have already credible evidence leading to those who paid the hoodlums where they met and how they met. And uh, security agencies are already working with this information. Confirm to us uh, emphatically, you're saying that this was a direct attack on your government. It is not only on my government. It is both on my government and federal government, Shewu. Let me tell you the situation in the country currently is that some people are trying to sponsor what I can call a synchronized national crisis to bring the government of Mohammed Buhari to disrepute. Otherwise, tell me why these things are happening at this time, particularly in Imo State, APC State, particularly in Eboi State, APC State. What is it? People are sponsoring these people. And some of them already caught, have made confessional statements. I am going to forward my report to the central government. And I must follow up to ensure those behind these things are brought to book. Do you subscribe, Governor, to the police preliminary investigation where they said IPOP and the uh, MSN are responsible for the attacks? The attack is that... They try to identify grievances of people in a particular area. If it is in a state and probably there are some IPOP people who are not happy, they hire hoodlums from outside the state. They bring them in pretending to be IPOP and they commit this crime and they, leave away, uh, they go away. So it is not about IPOP. Yes, we agree 
We have aggrieved IPOB members, but I can tell you, those who are doing this destruction, most of them were brought from outside the state. So, um, if you say that they are really not IPOB members, uh, another insinuation that a few uh, commentators have put into this is perhaps the military operations that we saw in the past few days, which of course you also commented about. Is there any link between that military operations and what we saw in the last few days? As I speak to you, honest political leaders and religious leaders have approached me to encourage military to come around because these people have created fear into the citizens by their dastardly uh, act. So it is not about the military. If anything, our people want the military around so that they can have a sense of security and go about their businesses without fear of any molestation. But uh, in what we, we have seen, uh, you said that you are going to send a report uh, to, uh, to the federal government on uh, what is happening. So how do you then handle uh, the situation going forward? Your people need assurances that they could be safe in their own land, in their own state, and in their own community. Any guarantees for them, the ones that you have done immediately, and the plans that you have for the immediate future? Yeah, yesterday the former Inspector General of Police visited Imo State and addressed his men. The Vice President visited Imo State and gave word of encouragement to our leaders and had a very serious meeting with security agencies. That brought hope back to our people. As I speak to you, normal businesses have resumed in Imo State. People are going about their businesses particularly given the manhood embarked upon by security agencies, trying to ensure that those who escaped from the correctional facilities, uh, correctional services facility, are brought back to, to the yard. So the, you can see, uh, if you go around or worry now, people are doing their businesses, normal businesses have also resumed. And we have also continued with our governance approach we are doing our normal businesses as a government because the intention of these wicked people is really to distract and destroy our government. But to the glory of God, they were not successful. How do we imagine that people are already organizing press conferences in Abuja, trying to address press as to what they thought that could have happened in Imo State, but God stopped to them and they were not successful in their operation. Yet, so, they, were, uh, or, or, they, yet they went ahead to organize press conferences to paint a picture of uh, loss of governance in Imo State. You have attributed the attacks on uh, political detractors. You've linked them into these. Are you responding in any way politically uh, in the, with all of this? Because uh, in the way of politicians, the, if there is a political move, there is a political counter move. Are you making any of those moves or what would you be your next move, politically speaking? Well, sure, I believe that power belongs to God and I'm here by the grace of God. And uh, honestly speaking, I will do my best to serve Imo State to the satisfaction of our people and to the glory of God. I am not going to do anything ulterior, or anything illegal in the name of politics. I want to serve humanity and I want to serve God. Looking critically at those incidents, I've tried to look, sit down and analyze how this thing panned out and the uh, reports from eyewitness and uh, those who uh, saw the aftermath. It does look like the incidents of Monday and Tuesday uh, organized and orchestrated. What import or implications have you drawn into these incidents and the manner in which they came? First and foremost, it took more than an hour for them to stage that attack. It also, intelligence-wise, one we wonder how they, uh, they congregated and they moved. And we understand also that in less than a kilometer is a military formation to, the, um, to some of those places where this attack happened. 
What, do you, what are the inferences you have drawn and lessons that you have taken from that attack and the orchestration, the way it was organized? Well, until the security agencies who are professionally trained to carry out investigations, they have gone into the matter, and as soon as their report is ready, I will make available the report to the public. Details of the modus operandi for the operation will be contained in the report. But what I do know is that we are operating a three-hour government here, government of reconstruction, government of rehabilitation, and government of recovery. And that means that some people, some tools have been matched. And those who are against this reconstruction and recovery, of course, will do anything within their behest to stop us from serving the people. But however, we are determined. We are going to serve our people. So let, let's get some clarity, Governor, if you can tell us uh, a bit more. Um, the politicians that you are in, inferring that are responsible for this, are they members of your party? Are they from uh, Imo State? So I will plead and crave your indulgence to not allow me to preempt the ongoing investigation and the job of security agencies. Let us probably by next week or two, after they would have completed their job, go into the into details of the report that they'll come out with. Does it worry you, Governor, that they made attempts to come into the government house? There was an attempt to do that. That uh, operation of uh, these attackers ha happened for several minutes also. Does it worry you that this was ongoing um, and uh, it perhaps uh, identify some kind of loophole in the security of the state? Well, in every business like security, cases like this will make all the agencies to review their strategy, look at the way they work, and then correct and amend, and going forward, ensure that this kind of thing doesn't happen again. I think what is of great concern is the origin of the action. Let us take it from the root and ensure that it doesn't happen again. But I believe that our security agencies will do their work, and I'm almost confident and certain that they are equal to the job. So you and your colleagues in the Southeast region have uh, talked about um, a security outfit just like we have in Southwest Amotekun. Uh, the Southeast governors are also uh, thinking about a security outfit like that. Um, is there time for you to make haste on that? Are you also empowering um, the local vigilantes as local measures in uh, uh, stopping or preventing this kind of situation? In Imo State, I've trained over 4,350 4, young men and women uh, at the Police College of G River as members of police community, uh, community policing. Uh, working with our local vigilante and our town union, we are mobilizing all the communities to support the efforts of security agencies so that it will be a holistic approach working with community leaders and our young men and women with also Nigerian police and other security agencies. In the day weeks coming, I'm sure that we will strengthen our security here in Nemo State and it will be a win-win situation for all of us. What about the South, South East uh, security outfit? Any, any news about that? So, uh, because someone, I mean, people will well, wonder, is it, is it not a good time for it to uh, uh, hit the ground running? You know, there are peculiarities. The situation in Southwest may not be the same thing in, with Southeast. And so we are looking at how to put our security arrangement complementary to the federal security forces in a manner that will create a win-win situation without offending uh, the target, which is to protect our people and ensure our people are also united and they are prosperous in their businesses. So it is not about whether it is regional security or not. 
But we in the South is five of us. We are working together and we are doing collaboration and we are sharing intelligence. We are also sharing ideas. I can assure you that uh, we are going to come up with a strategy that will remedy the situation in Southeast, working with the federal government. Because the job of security of any region, federal government alone cannot do it. Region alone cannot do it. But we have to work in collaboration, hand in hand, to be able to provide security for lives and properties in our region. Um, just two more questions and quick ones, Governor. Uh, first is the fact that the people of Imo State and those who do business in Imo State well, are watching tonight and they want to know, as a governor, as their leader, the number one citizen, what you have done as an urgent move because this is a matter of exigency. This is an emergency that you need to move fast. What have you done urgently in the past two days to uh, hoping uh, it will help in uh, curbing uh, a further attack? We have strengthened security, more security men, police forces, uh, the officers of Nigerian police, and the equipments have been sent, have been sent to him state by the Inspector General of Police. The Nigerian Army has strengthened, the Navy has strengthened also the mine of the uh, water sites. So I think we are strengthening security in Imo State, and that is why, as even as this, aft this afternoon, as at this afternoon, most of the inmates that escaped from the from the correctional services have been arrested, and some of them also willingly came back on their own. And we are encouraging through this medium those of them who are still outside, they come back and take advantage of the pronouncement of the Minister of Interior that they will be given amnesty, meaning that they will not be tried for a fresh offense. They should just come back and serve out their term and uh, uh, go, go back to their various places of uh, 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 abode. So I think that what we will do is that as we make in the investigation is ongoing, we will, I will also liaise with working with my security agencies. We will come up with the plans, immediate program, mid-term program, and long-term plan to be able to ensure that security in this part of the region, uh, Nigeria, is strong and that this kind of thing will not happen again. Yes, we have just about 30 seconds or so for this. Uh, I wanted to know, have you spoken with the new IG on what his plans are for Imo State specifically? And I also uh, want to know, um, as a former lawmaker, some governors have clamored for a multi-layer of policing in the country. So what would you suggest are the best ways for Nigeria to uh, win this war against insecurity? Well, I just told you that the, former, that the IG, the Nigerian police, have sent more men, more equipments to Imo State to help provide immediate remedy to the situation. That is one. Two, whether police is multi-layer or single layer, no police force can work alone and provide sufficient security for more than 200 million Nigerians. It, the business of security in Nigeria must be done jointly by community leaders, Nigerian police, and government. So that is my belief. And I think if we are sincere and honest, there are things we don't play politics with. Prominent among those things is security. Security is there for everybody. Because when the problem comes, the problem will not know whether you are in political party A or political party B. It is for everybody. So we have a responsibility as citizens All right. to help and support government to provide the required level of security needed for our nation to be stronger. All right. We need to go now. Governor, I must sincerely thank you. But uh, one thing that we need to get clear, I just need the figure, how many of the inmates have now returned or rearrested? If you can just give us the figure. I just need the figure. As of this afternoon, we have uh, very close to 85 uh, inmates, and we are expecting that more 
will come. I'm also told that some are calling on phone through their lawyers to be sure that they will not be charged again when they come back. And if this assurance is given to them, that they will willingly come back to the facility. All right, we must leave it at, and we want to wish you the very best. Not a good time, but we know that challenges can be succumbed, I mean, can be overcome, and we wish you the very best, Governor Opus Odema, Governor of Imo said. Thank you so much for talking to us tonight. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. And that's our show for tonight, everyone. Many thanks for watching. I'm Shion Akimale. Bye for now. <laughs>